So interesting, interesting. Double tops and double bottoms is what you guys have asked for. Double tops and double bottoms is what you're going to get. So welcome to Crypto Bullseye, the first and only crypto interactive channel in the world on YouTube. We're the only guys doing this. We're the first. So thank you all that has voted in the polls. And this week, like I say, double tops and double bottoms. Get yourself on there, guys. Vote for the next video. It's your channel. It's you that chooses. Let's get straight into it. Right, okay, double tops and double bottoms. So let's go over the basics first. What is a double top and what is a double bottom? So let's look at it from a bit, uh, firstly from the bullish scenario. You've got your move to the upside and you've got prices reacted at this level. You'll, you'll see this everywhere on the charts. Go through the charts and have a look and identify double tops and double bottoms in both bullish and bearish scenarios yourself. See prices reacted at this level had a slight pullback. The bulls are trying again to breach this level, haven't managed to. And then you'll see that you do get that pullback. So you've got your pullback. And then in a bullish scenario, you get exactly the same as far as the double bottoms are concerned. And the double bottoms in a trend continuation of a bullish or a bearish scenario, it'd be a double, uh, a double top in a bearish scenario, um, a good reasons for entry. So prices come here, it's not managed to breach this level it's come back slight little mini pullback and the, the the bears in this instance have not managed to breach this level again and you get the continuation of trend to the upside breach this previous double top level and a continuation so that's the bullish example we'll have a quick look at a bearish example now the bearish example you've got the move from the down uh, from the upside to the downside hit a level the bears haven't managed to breach this level and then you've got your pullback. So this is the pullback in this instance. And then you get the bulls trying to breach this level here. Pullback. They've not managed to breach this level and a continuation to the downside once the previous double bottom in this instance has been breached. So that's a bullish and a bearish example of uh, double tops and double bottoms. I'll show you guys there's a little bit more to it than that. And uh, you've got extreme highs and extreme lows of the candle that you've got to consider. Right, okay, before we get any further into the practical application and look at some examples of real time of double tops and double bottoms and how you can identify them and more importantly, how you guys can confirm them. Um, I just want to show you guys that we are working with Bybit and I mentioned previously before, all you need to do is click on our referral link and what does our referral link get you? Well, what you'll actually get is free $10 trade. So all you need to do is just go on to um, trade and spot trade and it's got to be spot trading. That's the rules guys. So you trade $10 or more on um, any spot pair and within two weeks within one to two weeks buy a bit or refund that so you get free ten dollars worth of crypto by doing this through the referral link and also um 100 make a fee discount more importantly so what do you get with 100 make a fee discount well if you're adding a limit order so you're putting an order in for a certain level that you want price to uh, to, to hit before you're willing to buy then that's a limit order and you become a market maker and there's no fees when you click on the referral um, for that. So if, you have, if you're looking for an exchange, um, Bybit's a good one. Go and check them out. Um, they're one of the top three as far as um, the exchanges are concerned, crypto exchanges are concerned. So go and check them out, guys. Um, all you need to do, just have a quick look on one of the recent videos and you'll see that show sure more. And you'll see near the top buy bit. So you get trade ten dollars on any spot pair and receive ten dollars back from buy bit on the first hundred dollars that you sign uh, on the first hundred that sign through the referral link. So plenty of places um, left there, guys. First hundred 
get that free ten dollars on spot so everyone gets the hundred percent make a discount fee um just click on that referral link through bybit and you'll be able to enjoy that so that's bybit let's get back to double tops and double bottoms Right, okay guys, what I thought I'd do is show you this in real time and show you some examples. And I've got the Bitcoin chart here on the one day. And what is a good thing to do as far as double tops and double bottoms is concerned and build them into your trading plan, your trading strategy and your rule set is identify first and foremost that what is the trend in the higher time frame and what your bias is on your trading time frame. So remember that you'll have... Um, at least a minimum of two time frames within your trading plan. Um, one to give you a bias. What is the trend and what direction are you looking for moves? Um, what trading plan, what trading strategy are you going to implement depending on what your bias is on the higher time frame? So I've got Bitcoin on the daily and you'll see that we've made in this example a move to the downside. And we're looking for a continuation of trend here. So we're looking for a pullback and a confirmation that the bears are in control. So you see this one move here, you get the pullback and you've got your double top here. And one way that you can identify a double top to give yourself additional bias um, as to whether it is a double top or a double bottom is to wait for the move. You've got the big move to the downside here. Wait for the pullback. And once you've identified this here, you can just get in your, your square tool and build that in. Now, rules. For it to be a confirmed double top, it has to come into this area. If it doesn't come into this area, it's not a confirmed double top and you probably don't want to be getting into anything. Additional rules that could be built into it, because remember, we're not just trading double tops and double bottoms, because at the end of the day, there could be quite easily a breach. There's only a certain probability that these things play out. So we need to give ourselves additional probabilities and you can go into certain things like um, stochastics, whether that's in an overbought or oversold area. It's in no man's land there. So would you enter? Probably not. If you add a, a lower, low, lower close candle in this instance, is your risk to reward big enough? Is your risk to reward big enough to the next level of structure? 1.55, depending on what your rules are. Um, so if, for example, the, this candle here, this green candle breached straight through there and formed a wick, and come back down would that be a confirmed double top it'd still be a confirmed double top if the candle breaks and closes above at the end of the candle session then that's a breach double top so don't forget add additional things on top of here into your rules of entry have a look what the stochastic does have a look what the rsi does is there any additional probabilities if you have a divergence on the rsi if you want me to go over divergences, let me know in the comments, guys. Remember, this is your channel. We're going to be doing it, whatever it is that you guys want. So let me know in the comments what it is that you guys want. Um, so you can see just an example there of a double top in a bearish scenario and a continuation of the move to the downside. So let's have another look. See if we continue, you, you'll see these all over the place, guys. There's one here that you've got your move to the downside. Move to the downside, and then you've got your pullback. You're not looking straight away at these levels here. You've got your pullback, and we're looking for a continuation of trends. So we're building our area. And you see that it managed to come back, touch this, double top, and a continuation of the move to the downside. Right, so that's the bearish scenario. Let's have a quick look at the bullish. Right, okay, bullish examples next. And I've got the BNB chart this time on the four hour. And one thing that you'll see is these double bottoms um, don't always play out. So if you've got a real strong trend, you might not even get the chance to have a double bottom, just like this example here on BNB, going back on the 6th of Feb 2021 in the middle of the bull run. So you've got the initial move up to the top and you've got this pullback here. And what you want to see is a double bottom as confirmation that that level is breached. So it didn't play out in that example. I'll show you an example where it did play out just a little bit later, and that's here. So 
got your move to the upside, big move to the upside. Levels being made. You've got your pull back here. And then you've got your gap. And you've got your second pull back there. So let's draw in our chart so to show that it's confirmed as a as a double bottom in this example. So this doesn't count. That's not a real pullback. Um, we want at least a bit of a gap to show that there is a pullback in our example. So just a little bit of an area here. And you can see that it did actually touch that. Um, you've got um, a green candle after that and then a huge move to the upside. So you can rinse and repeat this method. And let's look what happens on the next time that there's another one there by the looks of it. Yep. So you've got your big move to the upside. Got your pullback. And then you've got a double bottom confirm there. And what happens? That. So why is that a confirmed double bottom in a bullish trend? Remember, get your levels out. Big box this time because of the wick. Entered it, didn't breach it. And you've got big move to the upside. So don't forget, if this happens... Does that mean buy? It's entered into the level. Does that mean buy? Does it mean a confirmed double top or a double bottom in this example? Um, no, it doesn't. What should you do to give yourself additional probability to show that you are right in this instance? One thing that I like to do is a higher, high, higher close candle. So we got the higher, high, higher close candle on this green candle here where the close of the candle, candle was higher than the extreme of the previous candle before it. So that's shown that there's a bit of um, buying pressure from the bulls and it's likely that we are going to get a move to the upside from that. So you can add in your stochastic RSI or your standard RSI again in this example. Is the levels here overbought or oversold? It's a little bit in this example, a little bit oversold. So that's probably a good entry point. So you can see why you can give yourself additional probabilities as to what direction the trend's likely to go in. And we just want to keep giving ourselves higher and higher probabilities in line with our own strategy. If something works and something doesn't work, tailor your strategy, but make sure you go back and test it first and foremost. So in that example, you can see that you had the higher, high, higher close candle there. What this does is gives you a chance to have a tight stop loss below the extreme of the previous low. If this is breached here, we're wrong and we want to get out as early as possible. Depending on what your risk to reward ratio is, if it was the close of the previous swing high, you've got yourself a nice 3.8 risk to reward there. Um, and that does go some after that. So short-term trading, remember, short-term trading. So um, right, okay, back to the community tab because I want you guys to tell me exactly what it is that you want next. Um, you were interested in candlestick patterns last time. It was only just beaten by double tops and double bottoms. There was only 11 or 12 people voting on there. So get yourself on there, break the channel, break the community chat tab. We're in this together, guys, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right, okay, the excited bit, guys, nice and easy. What we're going to be covering for the next episode, I don't know. I'm excited to find out. You guys are going to tell me. Get yourself on there and break this community tab, guys. I want you to absolutely break it. We only had about 13, 12, 11, 13, something like that, that voted last time. It is only new, guys. So get yourself on there on the community tab. And what are we going to be covering next? The options are the Crypto Bullseye Cumulate Distribute Investment Strategy, which works really well in the bear market. If you want me to cover that, let me know. Candlestick Patterns, that got second in the poll for um, the previous video. So this video, let me know if you want me to cover candlestick patterns in the next one. And the third one, adding indicators. If there's anything specific that you want me to cover, uh, if you want me to go more in depth into indicators, how you can add them to your existing strategy, if it's a price action strategy, let me know in the comments and we can go over that. So tailored towards you, make sure you go on there, break this, make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll be notified exactly when it is that the next content's coming out. So we're going to be interactive. I want you guys to interact with each other. Get yourself in the comments and make sure you do. Be aware of the scammers, of course. Um, what else have we got? We've got this shop here. So anything crypto related. All sorts of crypto merchandise here. So if you guys wanted to take advantage of that, just click on the store. 
Um, that's within the Crypto Bullseye YouTube channel too. Um, obviously, we've got the Bybit deal. So get yourself $10 worth of free crypto and 100% make a fee discount so you don't pay any fees whatsoever for the whole time that you're with Bybit on maker fees as part of the referral link. So get yourself on that referral link. To do that, you just need to go on one of the videos, get yourself on one of the videos. And if you just go on to under here, sometimes it's difficult to see more. And you'll see we've got buy bit referral link there. $10 free trade on spot and 100% make a fee discount. Um, we've also got um, a crypto trading course as well through Udemy. It's on offer at the moment, which is $19.99. So if you guys want to have a look at that, that goes over everything that you need to know as a beginner in crypto, as far as trading is concerned, fundamentals is concerned, tokenomics are concerned. Go and have a look at that. Click the referral link if you guys want to take advantage of that. It's not going to be $19.99 for long. So go and have a look at that if you want to and you're a beginner in crypto. So I hope you all enjoyed the episode, guys, and look forward to finding out what it is that you want me to cover next. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go I hustle hard, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to no man, I still go